and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. But I do throw in a few other things here and there, like diamond art painting. Um, I did some nails one time. You can't really see these right now, but they're a light pink. Um, so I do have a few other things here and there. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. Well, I did put out a video this morning. It's called Clusters on a Slant. It's to teach you how to do clusters on a slant. How well you can see that. But I don't know if you can see it or not, but it does have like this line that goes all the way across like that. I think it's really cool. Clusters on a Slant. Um, I just used medium four weight yarn. I don't know if you can see it better back here. But um, anyway, it has like this slant, this look that goes all the way across your thing. And I just think that is so cool. But I just used medium full weight yarn. Um, I believe I used a uh, five millimeter crochet hook for that. <laughs> and um, I just think it's beautiful. So I hope you guys like it. Um, if I can remember, I'll put the link to that in the description box below, but I do have a playlist of my crochet stitches. Let's see, there's my basket. <laughs> so this is what I've been keeping them in. And my sister, Tanya, has told me that I need to get like a board or something like that and actually put these on and put the names of them underneath so that whenever um, I'm looking for a stitch for a project or something like that, that I don't have to go and dig through my basket. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but if you're wanting to do something like that as well, you can do my crochet stitches, the ones that I've got out, and you can do a little sample, and you can put them in a basket or something, or put them on a wall, and if there's something that you're wanting to work on, and you can't remember what the name of a certain stitch was, you can just have a name that's attached to it, and then go see that stitch, and like, oh yeah, that's the stitch, yeah, I want to work that, or if you're looking for, to do a project, and you're just not quite sure what stitch you want, you can go through your stitch basket or your stitch wall or whatever. Like this is the tilted block and you can say, oh, I like that stitch. I think I wanna do that. And um, the, I have the tutorial out there. So I'm just, for right now, I'm just keeping mine in one of my basket. I do have a tutorial on this. And um, I would just like to say thank you guys that have been purchased in the pattern and thank you for you guys that have been watching the tutorial. I appreciate that very much. That really, really helps me. It helps my channel. And um, the Facebook page, you guys are constantly uh, posting your baskets in the Facebook group page. And I just love it. You guys are so creative, all the different ways that you are doing yours with your colors and things like that. They are just gorgeous. And um, I just wanna say thank you. Now, I don't know if I said this, but my sister Tanya made this basket. Um, she is a new crocheter, but she crochets like she's not a new crocheter. So <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Tanya. Anyway, um, so for right now, this is my um, stitch sampler basket. Um, I may need to transfer this into a bigger basket at some point uh, if I don't end up doing the board thing um, because I really like having all the different stitches right where I can see them. I really like that a lot. So anyway, that's an idea for you guys. If you're interested in doing that, just make one of my baskets, um, watch my tutorials on how to crochet all these different stitches and just put you a little um, tag on it, saying what the name of that stitch is. And when you're wanting to start a project, then a scarf or whatever, just go through your basket of stitches and say, oh yeah, I like that stitch. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right guys, I hope that helps give you um, an idea. <laughs> okay, so let's see. One thing that I have is, oh yeah, Saving One Day um, sent me, asked if I would like to try some of their products and I saw that they had so a few crochet, they call it weaving, a uh, few crochet type items and then a little, some diamond art stuff. And so I was like, sure, I would love that. So I picked out these hooks because they were just beautiful. Look at that. Look at all these designs. 
So let me uh, take them out for you guys. Um, thank you, Saving One Day. I appreciate this. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, they are just beautiful. And they got the short shaft, which is perfect for me. Here we go. Let me see if I can get a little closer. There we are. Look at that. There's just so many of them. They're just beautiful. So, let's see. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We have twelve hooks. I will leave the links in the description box below. Honestly, guys, I do not remember what these cost. Um, but they are very pretty. This is an eight millimeter. Look at that. Eight millimeter. Let's see if that's the biggest. We have an eight and we have a seven. Look at that. Seven's pretty. I like the way that they make this part, you know, kind of match the hook itself. Let's see. The smallest hook may be, I think this one's probably it. Let's see. Here's two that it could be. There's a 2.5 and a 2.0. So here's the 2.0. Very pretty. 2.5. And let's see, we have a 5.5. These are all so pretty. Uh, what is this one? Ooh, I don't see the size on it. Oh, there it is. It blended in with the flower. <laughs> uh, 3.5. And a 3.0. A 5.0. I like that one. I use that a lot, 5.0. 4.5, use that a lot, and the here's a 6.5, and we have a 6.0, and the last one here is a 4.0. Thank you, Saving One Day. These are just gorgeous. Look at that. Just beautiful. I so, love it. the other thing that they sent, and I thought this was really cool, it is this little black little purse thing here. Let's see. It has this kind of strap right here, but it also has, let's see, this little strap right here. So you can, I don't think you can take that one off though. So I guess you, um, you have two straps, but here's the size, really neat. And then it has this, is your diamond art. So it has this film on it. I thought this would be really neat. So, on the inside, let's see, is that all the inside? Yeah. Here's what it looks like inside. It comes with, I guess these will be the three colors that you'll be working with. And it comes with the pencil and the little glue and then the tray. So, that came with this and I can't wait to do this. I think it's going to be so pretty. I like that it's got the little turtles on the side here. I think that's cute. But I think it's going to be really pretty, all sparkly. And I will be giving this away as a gift. So, um, I think that's really cool. All right. So, the other thing is, is the one thing that I'm very excited about uh, this from Saving One Day. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I have, I'm working on a project, as you guys know, of uh, the monkeys for my grandbabies. Well, they gave me this. I picked this out and I'm very excited about this one. It has two pouches in the front. There's yarn hose. There's a mesh pat, uh, pouch right here on the side. And let's see. And then the other side is another pouch. And then there's two more pouches in on the other side. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six pouches on the outside of this bag. Here's the bottom. It's a nice sturdy material. I love this. Um, let's see. I don't think these are interchangeable. The straps. I really like these straps as well. You can see them up close. And then for the inside here, I like this. It has a drawstring to keep your stuff nice and tidy. <laughs> so you just undo that and pull. Open it up, and voila, I have tons of cool stuff in here. Look at that. So 
So what I have in here, oh, and some of these pouches, I have the um, monkey's legs and arms. I forgot to show you that. Let's see, I have legs and arms and things like that in here. <laughs> I have the girls here and then the boy and then I, think I have some more over here. Oh, on this side, I have some of this stuff. And um, I don't have anything in that one. I don't have anything in those. But uh, this one, I have their heads. <laughs> That's what I've gotten done so far. I've got two heads. Um, I have the book in here that I'm working out of. And I'm just using that as a stitch place to keep my place. I am using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook with this project. And, let's see. and then I have three skeins of yarn inside there. And let's see if it's got any pouches. Yes, it's got one, two three, four. It has four um, pouches on the inside as well. I mean, that's really cool. And if you don't want this tied like that, this can tuck in on the inside. Let me tuck that in for you guys so you can see that. And let's see what dropped. Oops, my little black bag dropped. Okay, so if you want it where you can see it like that, you can tuck this inside. Let me get this tucked in a lot better than that. I'm like doing a half a job. There we go. Anyway, so there they are. If you don't want the, you know, the covering. And then when you're ready for the covering, then you can just pull it out and do like this. Close it up, and you can even tuck this string on the inside, like that. There you go. <laughs> and then you're ready to go. You can take it with you. So, I love this bag. You guys know <laughs> that is just so me. All right, guys. I will leave the links to these products from Saving One Day. i just like to say, once again, thank you, Saving One Day. So, I'll leave the link to this, and then the little black pouch, and then um, this right here. So, um, you can click on those. They're not affiliate links, but you can click on those and you can check them out. All right, guys, let's see. What else do I have going? Well, tomorrow's Whip Caddy Wednesday. I will show you a few more things. Um, let's see. Oh, I have me I set myself a note here. Can you believe it? Oh, I received some books from a girl named Sheila from my church. Thank you so much, Sheila. I appreciate it very much. I don't know if you watch my videos or not, but if you do, I just want to tell you thank you and how much I appreciate these books. So let me show you a short clip. Uh, let's see. The first clip is where I received the books um, at the church, and I'm kind of digging through them. And then I spread them out here and kind of show you guys a little bit of the books that way. And then there will be another video. I guess I can just move on into that. Um, it's where I'm going up to the stairs to my media booth. They call it the Crow's Nest at church. And that's where I work on Sundays and Wednesdays. And you can see my area there. I think it's pretty cool. Um, what else do I have? Well, um, let's go ahead and look at those video clips and I'll come right back. here's some of the books I've got spread out here and there's a box still half filled with books but look at this I mean there's so much stuff it's just beautiful all this stuff so thank you so much Sheila this was one of the ladies from my church and um, it's just beautiful stuff. Look at that. It's like, wow.
Yeah, that's just beautiful. And there's some socks. Look at that. Yeah. I just want to say thank you so much, Sheila. This is just, just some beautiful stuff in here. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. And I don't know if y'all saw like... Um, let's see. Look at that. Where's, yeah, they have like a lot of like vests and things like that. That's really cool. Here's some more. Yeah, some really cool stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a lot. So, thank you so much, Sheila. I truly appreciate this. I mean, this is going to be a lot of stuff to get to just dig through and see, get inspiration and see what kind of projects I might want to do. I mean, it's just beautiful. So... Thank you so, so very much. Hey guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that. I just want to say thank you, Sheila, for that. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, let's see. Oh, the other thing is, I did get accepted into one of the magazines. It's Crochet Foundry. It's an oversized shawl. So I'm very excited about that. Crochet Foundry, thank you very, very much for accepting my submission. Um, I just, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to get um, started on, you know, the yarn and stuff and the hook that that I'm going to be using for that. I'm very excited about it. I look forward to that. I did got in one of their magazines. Um, I think it was, it was last year and I was very excited about that. And, um, so now I've gotten a second pattern in with them and I'm very excited. So thank you so much. Crochet Foundry. All right, let's see. I guess the other thing, let's go ahead and do our be still and no devotion. You are chosen. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. That's Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. Adopted children never have to wonder if they were wanted. They grow up with the certainty that their parents chose them. What a blessing. As a child of God, you are granted that same wonderful knowledge. You are his adopted one, chosen specially to bring him pleasure, not to accomplish any great feat or to fulfill any grand purpose, but just because he wanted you. Father, I can't believe you chose me. With all my faults and all the times I go my own way, I'm amazed you call me your beloved child. Knowing I bring pleasure to you just by being me is one of the great joys of my life. Thank you guys for taking time out and staying in my video and uh, listening to that. And I hope it ministers to you and I hope it um, just blesses you. All right, guys, that's really all that I have for this video. Um, I, I do have tons of stuff surrounding me. I'm involved in so many projects right now. Um, it's exciting. <laughs> There's so much stuff going on. And, um, Tanya says she don't know how I can keep it all straight, but I do. And that's just the way I work. That's the way I roll. <laughs> I just roll that way. And, um, I'm just very excited with all the projects that I have ongoing. And, um, I'm still waiting to find out about the other magazine. I haven't heard anything yet, but, um, I did get into the Crochet Foundry and, um, I'm looking forward to that project. And, uh, so yeah. I guess that's all that I have. I will see you guys in Whip Caddy Wednesday video tomorrow. Don't forget to uh, submit your Whip Caddies. Put them on Facebook. You can email them to me as well. And we all need to be inspired. So come on. Uh, throw in your Whip Space. Send some pictures. <laughs> and I'll show them in tomorrow's video along with your name. It'll be highlighted. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.